Hello viewers, today we are discussing bituminous mixed design with waste plastic as given in IRC SP 98 2020. And there can be two methods of using waste plastic in a bituminous layer, dry process or wet process. Dry process is where shredded plastic is mixed with hot aggregate and then bitumen is added to these plastic coated aggregates. Another is wet process in which plastic is mixed with hot bitumen and this bitumen is treated as a modified bitumen and tested accordingly. This wet process requires a mechanical stirrer and stabilizers and lot of investment is required and therefore it is not commonly used. Therefore, IRC SP 98 2022 recommends dry process of using waste plastic in a bituminous wearing course. When dry process is used, there is not much difference in the mixed design procedure. It is similar to the one we use in normal practice that is Marshall method of mixed design as per MS2 of Asphalt Institute. Use of waste plastic is suggested in very courses of all nature, whether it is for low volume roads or high volume roads, you can use waste plastic in bituminous concrete layer, remix carpet or mixed seal surfacing or any other bituminous layer that is to be used in the wearing course. Recently, waste plastic has been used in the layer of dense bituminous macadam also. There are three types of waste plastics. One is thermosetting or thermoset plastic elastomers and thermoplastic materials. Thermosets materials are like bakelite, epoxy, melamine, polyester and they are hard in nature. Once shaped, they cannot be softened or remolded by the application of heat and therefore thermosetic waste plastic materials should not be used for dry process addition. Elastomers are the materials that have both viscosity and elasticity. They are also referred to as thermoplastic rubber. Natural rubber, polyurethane or polybutadiene are some of the examples of elastomers. Then third is thermoplastic materials. Thermoplastic materials can be repeatedly softened by heating and hardened on cooling. IRC SP 98 suggest that only LDPE that is low density polyethylene and high density polyethylene should be used in road construction. Examples of LDPE are carry bags, sacks, milk pouch, cosmetic and detergent bottles and examples of HDPE are carry bags and bottle caps. The material like drinking water bottle, wrappers of detergents, or biscuits or bottle caps of polypropylene and polyesterine or credit cards, toys, PVC pipe, cutters, etc. should not be used in road construction. Black color waste plastic is a result of repeated recycling and therefore their use is not recommended. Waste plastic should not contain polyvinyl chloride. That should be taken care of because PVC releases lethal levels of dioxins at high temperatures. Carcinogenic material should not be used. Only flexible packaging waste material should be permitted in road construction. Thermoplastic materials are likely to emit gases and may undergo thermal degradation at temperature higher than 180 degrees centigrade. And therefore, it is essential to ensure that waste plastic, plastic is not heated to more than 180 degree centigrade temperature under any circumstance. Only shredded plastic should be used and shred size ranging between 2.36 millimeter and 0.6 millimeter with a maximum length of 2.36 millimeter and a maximum width of 2 millimeter is suggested to be used in road construction. Processing of waste plastic can be a 4-5 step process. Collection of waste plastic, segregation, cleaning, and shredding. Waste plastic is collected from roads, garbage trucks, dump sites or compost plants or it can be purchased from rag pickers or waste buyers. Once it is collected, the next step is segregation. Waste plastic collected from different sources must be separated from other waste 
and generally maximum thickness of the plastic that, that to be used in rolls is 60 micron. It is essential to separate waste plastic from the solid waste and it can be done by different methods like air classified method or air tabling method or dry and wet gravity separation or any other method as found suitable. These methods are described in a report of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. LTPE and HDPE are only plastics that are recommended for use in road construction and these plastics can be easily separated from other forms of waste plastic by their usual identification also. After segregation, the plastic is cleaned and then it is shredded. As I told you, the shredded plastic should only be used and shred size is between 2.36 mm and 0.6 mm length 2.36 mm and width maximum 2 mm. That is the processing of waste plastic before it is used in road construction. Dust and other impurities are measured in terms of ash content as per IS 14535 and it should not exceed 1% by weight of plastic. The waste plastic starts degrading at temperature more than 180 degrees centigrade and therefore the melting point of waste plastic that is to be used in roads shall be less than 170 degrees centigrade when determined as per ASTM D7138. Once the waste plastic has been shredded and tested for impurity and its melting point, the next step is to mix them with aggregate and bitumen to prepare the mixture. Aggregates are heated to 140 to 175 degrees centigrade temperature in the central mixing plant. Then introduce shredded waste plastic slowly into the drum of a drum mixing plant. In the case of central mixing plant, waste plastic is injected into the drum through a pipe under pneumatic pressure at a position which is at two third length of the drum or through an opening over the pug mill in case of a batch mix plant. The duration of exposure of waste plastic to hot aggregate shall be 25 to 30 seconds. In this stage, the waste plastic coats the heated aggregates. Then the next stage would be when bitumen is added to the aggregate with the temperature of binder conforming to mixing temperature selected depending upon the grade of the binder and the type of the mix. The aggregates coated with waste plastic are mixed with hot bitumen for 15 seconds and then the resulting mix is transported for road construction. That is how mix with waste plastic is prepared. The laying temperature for the waste plastic bitumen mix shall be between 110 degrees centigrade to 120 degrees centigrade and the roller used can be of any capacity. As I told you earlier, waste plastic can be used in any bitumen wearing course. In the case of thick wearing course like bitumen concrete, there is no change in the mix design. Only point is that quantity of this waste plastic will be 8% by weight of the bitumen. And the Marshall method of mix design will be used. You can determine the optimum binder content for the layer of bitmus concrete as per Marshall method of mix design and for a layer of BC, let us say OBC or optimum binder content as per Marshall method is obtained as 5.4%. Then in that case, this waste plastic will be 8% of 5.4, that is 0.432%. So in a case of 100 kg mix, bitmus will be 5.4 kg and waste plastic will be 0.432 kg. That is how the mix is prepared for a thick bitmus wearing course. In the case of thin wearing course, the quantity of waste plastic remains same, that is 8% by weight of bitumen. And these mixes are generally of recipe type mix, for example, pre-mixed carpet of type A. MORTH specifications suggest that the quantity of bitumen for type A premix carpet will be 2.2 kg per meter square area and therefore waste plastic will be 8% of 2.2 kg that is 0.176 kg. What IRC code says that no reduction in binder content be made from OBC 
after adding base plastic. In the case of thick wearing coats like BC, the parameter of design as suggested in IRC SP98 are as like this. The compaction level should be as usual, 75 blows on each face of the martial specimen. The stability at 60 degree centigrade should be 12 kN. Martial flow 2 to 4, air wires 3 to 5, VMA 15 percent, VFB 65 to 75 percent and return stability or tensile strength ratio should be minimum 90 percent. These are the requirement of the mix. So that is how we design a bitumen mix using waste plastic. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can write.